have a shed you can see we've got the shutter up instead of down as usual we don't have the screen in at all right now and actually I'm gonna put this down on its side because chances are it's gonna fall down anyway all right we're gonna go in and do a check on the rabbits and definitely been keeping the lock on the door just so that it doesn't rattle extra it's much quieter and calmer in here with uh, the shutter up okay now we might as well do a state of the rabbit tree while I'm out here uh, for October 2016 Miss Luna has been bred with um, Leo Yes, you have, haven't you? Miss Kalia is back there. She is not bred. She has a rash, or uh, not a rash, she has a spot on the back of her neck that is, uh, well, maybe you saw it there, that is kind of a bald patch and it's really rough. I've been treating her with olive oil. She, uh, uh, she doesn't have mites. So I don't know if she just accidentally tore some fur out or what, but uh, we're, we're watching that on her. Miss Ruby's abscess is doing really well. Uh, she's healing up. Uh, hi, Miss Ruby. Hey. Hi, honey. Hi. Oh, oh yes. Uh, and the whole the skin is starting to grow back together so that's uh, that's really good news uh, the antibiotics are working uh, you're just using antibiotic gel not injecting her with anything because the infection seems to have responded to that with no problem Ella hello miss a pretty girl Ella has been bred we bred her with Xander it was their first time being bred and it took Xander exactly 10 seconds for his first fall off. He knew exactly what to do. No questions asked. Miss Santa Bunny is doing really well. Um, we still have to treat her eyes daily, but there's barely any cloudiness just towards the top a little bit. And, um, we we tried stopping whenever we try stopping it comes back so I think it's just going to be a permanent part of her the rest of her life is that she'll just have to have the eye drops put in daily Mr. Jasper uh, he did his duty with uh, bonfire for the first time um, he it took him a little bit to figure out what to do and he seemed kind of uninterested after the first time and just kind of sat there for about 10 minutes before he tried again so I don't know uh, we'll have to see how he responds the next time he's bred if he's not going to be an enthusiastic breeder then I don't know that we'll keep him Miss Bonfire Miss Bonnie she was so happy to be bred I tell you, she has been obnoxious up until the point we bred her, and now she's being real sweet again. So uh, that's what sometimes that's what happens with rabbits uh, when they want to be bred desperately. They just turn into little brats, and and then as soon as they're bred, they're sweet as pie again. Now, Miss Serena, we bred with Starbuck, which is her usual pairing. Hey, Miss Serena. I oh, can't get a really good view of her. She's kind of hiding today. Serena is a really, really good mom. Her and Bonnie are really, really good moms. So, um, that'll be good for, uh, 
Ella if she can't handle being a first time mother. I usually don't have problems. I actually I've never had a problem with a first time mom, but some people do and so I always like having a good backup foster mom. Alright. Serenity remains might free. Persephone remains might free. Uh we still seem to be fighting a little bit of something though. And uh I'm not sure. I need to. I need to take a um, swab and send it in. Um, I think. I don't think it's cosi. I think it's something else. But they've had reoccurrent problems, and uh, I keep having with Serenity. I keep having to clean off her bottom, and uh, Persephone is starting to get that now too. So uh, I need to take some kind of a swab or a fecal. Uh, sample and send it to the lab and find out for sure so we can get it treated. So that's on the agenda for today. Mr. Starbucks doing okay. Uh, the abscess on his shoulder is still there. Uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting his quality of life. I don't really want to drain it because it's got blood veins feeding it. I have thought about maybe putting an elastic band around it like they do when they castrate uh, baby animals and seeing if it won't just choke off the blood supply and it'll drop off naturally. Um, I would take him to a vet but rabbits do really badly under anesthesia and uh, it can kill them about half the time and I really don't want to lose Starbucks so I think that may be what we want to, we, we're going to end up doing. Mr. Leo, he was very happy to breed a rabbit. It's been over a year since he has. He remains healthy. Uh, no sign of mites. No sign of mites in either of these boys. But uh, he's been very happy and active for the last couple of months since the end of the mite treatment. And uh, it's really good not to have it anymore. And then, Mr. Xander. Can we see you under there? My pretty broken New Zealand who is hiding, kind of. Uh, he has just, he did just a wonderful job. A wonderful job with his first breeding. So he is definitely going to be a, a great uh, sire, I think. Uh, starting a great sire line. Hopefully, we'll see how the kids turn out. And hopefully we'll get a broken uh, between him and Ella. Maybe one. I don't know. And chances are it could be a red broken or a black broken. And now Ella's black, but her mom was red. And um, Xander's mom is actually a broken red, even though he's broken black. So he can carry both broken black, broken red. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, that is how all the rabbits are doing. Um, we don't have any of the grow out cages in here right now because we don't need them for uh about uh 12 weeks so because everyone's only three or four day three or four days pregnant so it just helps to keep uh, the dust down in here especially with everybody molting so badly and uh cobwebs forming uh, and then the fur gets in the cobwebs and even though we just brushed it down like three days ago when we cleaned cages you can see that there's already fur and cobwebs forming again. So anyways, hello Missy. Uh, anyways, that's how the rabbits are doing and they're all buckled up for the storm. We do have the one window on there, back there uncovered. Uh, the wind hits from this side of the rabbit shed. That side is covered completely with the tree canopy. So um, it'll remain uncovered unless uh, something drastic happens, uh, we usually leave it uncovered until it starts to freeze at night. So that's how the rabbits are doing. That's how the rabbitry is doing. And it looks like the wind's starting to pick up out there. So I better get back in the house.